Bruce Wilson's cameraman. <laughs> <laughs> Surprised this thing made it home. Oh, well, Kenworth, please, man. Say that again. <laughs> we can go, flag gunner. Guys, we are out here at the Diesel Life compound to start up an old engine they got here. It is nice out here, man. Yeah. I am freaking whoop. Hey, buddy. You five. How there you doing? You go. Good job. <laughs> Hey, I brought a machine out here to play with or what? Hell yeah. <laughs> that thing won't crank, we'll just bury it. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever he said. <laughs> well folks, here is our wheel at start. We finally got down to uh what we're gonna be doing today. This is an old, what is this thing, Chris? It is a, uh, well, it was a Chevy Bolt, but it's now a Ford Bolt. Big air compressor for people that build swimming pools. Oh, I remember that's right, you told me that. They would like spray the concrete in the swimming pool with it. It's got an old two-stroke Detroit in it. This thing should fire right up. The only question is, you know, how much do we really care about it? Because to do it the right way, we need to pull the valve cover off, make sure the in injectors aren't stuck. Because these things have a bad reputation. Just when you're done with it, I'm donating it to uh, Ridge Votech. The moon. Well, I guess we'll just see if it'll start. Hmm. We'll uh, get Chris to bring the tractor over here. We'll drag this thing out of the woods here and uh, have a safe place to work around it.
<sighs> Hopefully there's no spiders in here. Okay, okay. Take it down. <laughs> Take it downtown. Oh yeah, this is like where spiders go to, yeah, I know. to mate. To sleep. <laughs> okay, okay. It's all fun on games until... Not a bad. Pretty big one too. I'm sure it's probably not any good, but we found one. That's a huge air compressor, dude. This thing is massive. See guys, we've been waiting for like a true will it start. This thing has been sitting a long time. Looks it. Who knows when it's even started last? any of this stuff is i mean i know a detroit obviously but got a mini turbo in there gotta find the con no that's the supercharger right there the turbo. all right so here's our throttle we want it in the run position let's see which way is run up it was down like that so we'll run got a hand clutch here looks what's look good it looks like it's been released this whole time so that's good. Um, starter button there. I guess first things first, we need to hook the battery up again on the other side. Hook a jump box, see if we can even get it to move over first. Make sure it's not locked. All right, so I'd like to get some of these leaves and stuff out of the way so that if things decide to go sideways, they'll be out of the way. But man, these battery cables do not look good at all. This battery, we should have brought a battery. That was on my list of things to grab, too. I can't believe I forgot that. Idiot. <laughs> I don't even see an oil dipstick on this thing. I mean, this thing is getting donated to school or it's getting scrapped, so I don't think Chris is too worried about it. Um, get this top off here so if you have to throw a little bit of ether to it. I don't know where the fuel, the fuel tank looks like it's down below it. All right. Aaron takes off. We need to find a block of wood to stick over that intake in case it decides to go go uh, somewhere else other than here. Here, there, and gone. Also, guys, before we get too far into this video, you guys remember when we got these jump boxes and Lane Finder helped us get this gear going for all of our sick wheel stars we've been doing. And for those of you that doesn't know what Lane Finder is, Lane Finder is an app specifically catered to truck drivers and people with CDLs. And if you are looking for a job, Lane Finder is the app you need to download. They specialize in finding people like myself or my brother Aaron who have a class A CDL or any kind of CDL defining jobs out there whether it be from running back and forth during the day over the road jobs flatbed reefer literally anything any kind of CDL related job guys so check them out lane finder you can find them in the app store link right here on the screen check them out in the description in the first comment lanefinder.com guys check them out <sighs> All right, so I forgot a battery, but I did bring our regular old jump box that basically just has a battery in it that is not a high amperage jump box. So we'll get this thing hooked up just so we have some voltage there for this one to see because some of you may or may not remember these right here won't start unless they see voltage. So let's get this thing hooked up here. And then right there. That's right. Here needs to go on that ground there. Hook up 12 volt. Now let's just see if we even get a click, right? Nothing. That ain't good. No clicks. Which means we're gonna break out our uh, click gun. Yep. All right, we got our starter button here for when these things don't like to cooperate. Ryan will stop farting on me. I heard it. No. You thought you were being slick, <laughs> Randy. Didn't. And Randy. All right, we need to hook this up to positive somewhere right here, and then we'll find our solenoid wire somewhere in here. Hmm. Oh, I forgot this one's broken. That's right. Hmm. Oh. 
Good, right? This thing is not happy. Found the dipstick. Ooh, no. The oil in it. I got these wires boiling hot. We gotta be careful. See the wires move? Watch. Oh yeah. Oh! Okay. Here's the issue, our starter solenoid is not doing its job. I can take this and get our starter to spin over, but we don't have anything happening with our solenoid here, which is the issue. So we're gonna have to manual, this is an old school manual Bendix. So we're gonna have to take this boy right here and hopefully bend it where we want it to go. And engage, engage it. This is going to be fun. This whole thing is going to be fun. Ooh, darn. So we're not going to be using the solenoid because it's not working. It's just not grounding like it should or something. We're going to manually engage this thing. <laughs> you ready? I'm going through the legs. We'll do the legs. Yeah. Ready? Oh. All right. Our clutch is spinning. We don't want our clutch spinning, so... Should be disengaged there. Let's find out. Let's give it some go-go juice. Manuel, don't go through my legs. That's weird. I don't know what else. Go right here. It's just not happy, so that there is here. Ready? Yeah. No way. No way. <laughs> oh, we didn't get something to shut it. I guess we can shove that. Thing over if it tries to spin up really fast. Ooh, that's something. I just don't know if we've got the fuel and they're turning on like it should, you know. I don't know. Yeah, this thing ain't moving nothing. Fuel reel stuck in the off position, so I have to bend it right here. Can't really see it.
I may have to uh, watch out. Pull these pins out of it and manually operate it. Oh, much better. All right, so we're pulling this pin out of the governor assembly there. See if we can turn it by hand manually here. There we go. Get that thing out of the way. Oh no, our rack may be stuck. Feels kind of wonky. Pretty good. I don't want to. We may have to pull the valve cover off. I just don't know. Oh, hang on. Let's pull all this stuff out of the way. But I don't know if it comes in half or not. Yes, it does. Sweet. Let's pull this cover off right here. Hopefully, there's no spiders underneath here or something, Ryan. Thing does not want to come loose. Oh wow! Boom. Easy. Now we can get the valve cover. All right. So we're gonna make sure this rack is moving like it should. Just pull these covers, these nuts off right here. Sweet, all the dirt. <sighs> yeah, this thing's stuck. <laughs> hmm. There's no good way to get in here to this thing. It's the governor inside here that's, oh, this thing. <laughs> I really don't know what this does. I'm sure someone will tell us in the comments. <laughs> Must be the shut off or something. <sighs> I hate that all that stuff got in the engine, but this thing's not really, they're not doing anything with it no more, so. Well, I guess we'll uh, rig up our starting mechanism again. Let's cheat it with some uh, starting fluid. And I don't even know if it's got fuel up here or not. There's the fuel bowl. All right, Ryan, ready? Yep. It needs a lot more ether. So it's not running off diesel, I think, because this has got the fuel shut off. So we'll pull these pins out right here. Smells great. And run the rack manually. Pocket, so I ain't losing any of this stuff. All right, I think it was all the way in the off position. Let's try this again. Send it.
All right. It runs. Now the only issue is our governor is stuck. Can you not film it? I am. You weren't. I am. Go I've gone the whole time, dude. <laughs> Come on. There it goes. Oh, no, it's just spinning on the shaft. That's all right. We can make it set so that no, I was not happy. Here comes Gunner to help. Where? Right here, in front. What are you doing? Yeah, whatever he's sitting. <laughs> the governor's just like stuck. It's not a happy person. All this stuff is like completely froze up. I, I want to freaking get it where it stays running and kick the uh, compressor on. See this huge thing, this other looking engine thing? It's an com air compressor. Oh, wow. I wish they'd let us take this thing home. We just hook it to the moon until it blows Dude, up. That would be ridiculous. <laughs> this thing would run. <laughs> You would actually need a shield for this one. We would just back way up because these things scream. Oh, yeah. Well, it's alive. The governor's just broken on it. Should we change it one more time? Oh, yeah. It'll just, it'll start right up. No problem. Do it. <laughs> Gunner scared. <laughs> That thing built air quick, yeah. son. Oh yeah. That ain't no joke. Woo! Now that you got it running, I'll sell it to you. <laughs> <laughs> the governor's all messed up. Has it? It's all froze up. I had to take it loose. Well, that'll be good. The kids can play with it and fix that ridge boat deck. There we go. Fixed it for a good cause. <laughs> Just tell them the governor. And he's a, the governor's stuck in it, but it will start and run. Well, there's proof. They can just use the video for. <laughs> Tell them what. Yeah, so here you go. That's what we did. Let them replicate it. A little bit of dirt in the valve cover. That's all right. Yeah, no successful will it any start. Any idea what year it is? Old. <laughs> yeah. Uh. There's all kinds of. Now, would this engine have been in a vehicle back in the day? Or, a, or would it be a bigger one? They put these in some of those old school, like, uh, old, uh, like, international trucks. Yeah. Stuff like that. Most of them were six-cylinder versions of this. Yeah, thing. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Trying to see. There's, there, everything is here. Yeah, there's serial numbers everything is here. Yeah, right here. Well, Mama. this is for the, uh... Well, this one right here is all for the engine. Transmission over here. <clears throat> can't see anything about the year of it. A friend of mine gave it to me and I just couldn't see it going to the scrapyard. 
If someone would have gave this to me, I'd be sitting right here with a, with vice grips on the governor. <laughs> Till it, boom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. Next next time. Yeah. <laughs> Back together so they don't go flying apart. Even like the emblem, the stuff on the side of this thing, you ought to try pulling one of those off and just hang it up here in your shop here. Yeah, that's yeah, the General right. Motors thing because they're brass. Did you crank it on its fuel? Yeah. Yeah. Now yeah, that fuel's probably valuable. I put the fuel in it 15 years ago. They don't make that anymore. They don't make high sulfur diesel. <laughs> no. We should we should get that out before we're done at it. Yeah, that's definitely high sulfur fuel. Sell it on the black, black market. market. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. Cleaner back on there. Boy, I feel my allergies kicking, so I don't care. Why is it not going in its home? Wrapping this job up. We didn't even have to use the big boy boxes. Oh, no. It's probably a little tired engine anyways, a little low on compression. I think built air fast. Oh yeah. See how big that air compressor is though? No about pistons in there are huge, like the size of coffee cans. Crazy. And we didn't even have to tow the battery. Shoot. <laughs> Give us another Amber just lost her engagement ring. Nothing. I'm just telling the people on the inter internet how you lost your ring. Start a new series. Can you find it? Yeah. Can we find? Um, so since that happened, we're just gonna have to uh, let you buy the next one. Oh, that's gonna leave a mark. It's over there on the other side of the boat. Oh, it's, it's got an old truck rear end underneath it. See it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> old two speed oh, rear end. Yeah. <laughs> Well, guys, that's a wrap for today's Will It Start. I might have been short and sweet. Was it short and sweet? It was. I feel like that was a good one. We had to do a little bit of work. <coughs> My allergies are getting to us out here. And okay. Oh. Anyways, my allergies are getting to me, so make sure you guys smash that like button, subscribe, comment. We're gonna be dumping a lot more Will It Starts coming at you very soon, and uh, go to check out Lane Finder. Link in description and bio. Peace. Will she do it? Peace. <laughs>